This is the village of Eloki. It's two hours' drive west of the tragic capital Dushanbe. Poverty here is widespread. There's electricity for just five hours a day. For most families, sons working in Russia are a vital source of income. But the collapse of the ruble means less money coming in. Mutabar shares her home with three generations of her family. Grandparents, children, grandchildren, 11 people in total. It's pretty crowded. They want to build a new house nearby, but money from a son in Moscow has dried up and work is on hold. The family have their meals in the grandparents' bedroom, the only one that's heated. Talk soon turns to the collapse of the ruble. <laughs> Nearly 3,000 kilometers away, Moscow is a magnet for migrant workers from Central Asia. Among them, 24-year-old Saadi, Mutaba's eldest son. Saadi plies his trade at a market on the outskirts of the city. He's been here four years, but amid the economic downturn, people are spending less. And now every ruble he receives is worth less than it used to be. <laughs> After work, Saadi heads for the bank to check if the exchange rate has improved so he can send some money home. It's a regular journey which always ends in disappointment. For Saudi's family, this is bad news indeed. The ruble has continued plunging. With no money from Moscow, there's no hope of building the new house. Life is hard and the family must scrape a living as best it can. <laughs>